We are asked to use the definition of a derivative to find this derivative here. Given that a, b, and c are constants, we are not given a specific value of x where we want to evaluate this derivative. So we're just going to use this formula right here. And since we're trying to find the derivative of this function right here, then that function is going to be our f of x. Well, to use this definition of a derivative, we need to find f of x plus h. And we can find f of x plus h just by replacing x in this function with x plus h. Then squaring x plus h means we need to FOIL this term out. After doing all that distribution there and combining our like terms, we get that f of x plus h looks like this. Now let's distribute our a and our b through the parentheses. Okay, now we have f of x plus h. We were given f of x in the problem, so let's now plug the f of x plus h and the f of x that we have into the definition of a derivative. And let's see what terms cancel. It looks like our ax squared cancels, our bx cancels, and our c cancels. That leaves us with the following terms. And you'll notice that there's a factor of h in every one of these terms in the numerator. That's good because we want to cancel this h in the denominator. There's more than one way you can do this cancellation, but I'm going to factor in h from the numerator. And now that we factored that h out, we can cancel the factor of h in the numerator with the factor of h from the denominator. That leaves us with a limit as h goes to 0 of this expression. And if we take our limit by plugging h equals 0 into that expression, we're just left with 2ax plus b, which is the final answer. And I will zoom out on this so you can see all of our work. We found that the derivative of this general quadratic expression up here equals 2ax plus b. Before long, you're going to have a much faster way to do this. But for now, we're just using this definition of a derivative to find all of our derivatives. But don't worry, there will be shortcuts soon enough. But that's all I have for you for today. I'll see you tomorrow for the next calculus problem of the day.